What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL podcast. Lunch break almost over, so I I want to get this news out to you, uh, just in case it breaks later, because I know I'm gonna be a little I'll be a little busy. So <clears throat> I was on Twitter, right? Because this is developing news. I was on Twitter, and somebody posted. Uh, about the Polynesian Bowl this weekend, and they said, I wonder if we will see a Jackson State hat on the table for the Polynesian Bowl. So, something along the lines of that, right? I'm paraphrasing. And Coach Prime retweeted it, and he said, I'm definitely in the kitchen. That's what he said. Now, at that point, I knew, like, I, I already knew, right? But it was confirmed to me that Jackson State is about to pull off something big. Coach Prime is going to pull off something big either this Saturday or most definitely on National Signing Day. Uh, but here's why I think we could see we could see Shamar Stewart in a JSU uniform in the fall. I, I really think it's who he is who they're talking about. Um, so I'm on Twitter, right, and I'm strolling, and I see my boy Jeff Lightsey. Uh, shout out to Jeff, one of the best and most underrated YouTubers on, probably the most underrated YouTuber on YouTube. Dude's content is fire, and he's very knowledgeable. I can't wait to be back on this show. Uh, and I'll put the picture up so you guys can subscribe so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But he uh, retweeted something that was shared, that was tweeted by a Texas A&M uh, recruiting information page. Like, anything Texas A&M related, you know, that's where you go to because that's what their page says the number one source for anything texas a m football so they said whoever tweeted that out from them they said coach prime is about to strike again is that is that not first of all you only think of two people when they said that right because they they confirmed it at that point they said coach prime is about to strike again so that either means harold perkins i don't think it's harold but it could be harold perkins or Shamar Stewart. The only reason why I think Harold Perkins is still in the conversation is because if you remember during the interview of the All-American game, him and Travis Hunter, uh, they were doing uh, an interview together. And Travis definitely said, you know, Jackson State will still be in the mix by the time, like right before Harold Perkins signed. So that tells me Travis is still trying to get Harold if Harold has a sign already. Uh, but I really do think it's Shamar because number one, the Polynesian Bowl is this Saturday, right? And the only guy on that roster who I know of, who we know of, that's associated with Jackson State's name is uh, Shamar Stewart. He's at that game. He's going to be playing in that game Saturday. So, I don't know. I just feel like this is all leading up to Shamar. This is no guarantee that it'll be him, but we know it's going to be somebody big. And then I look in the comment sections of that tweet, and I see the fans like, oh, oh, they, they are nervous right now. They sweating, right? Because half of them are saying, man, I hope it's not Harold. Other people are saying, man, please don't let it be Shamar. One guy even go, went as far as to say, y'all ain't going to like this one. Talking about the Texas a and fans. Like, y'all aren't going to like this one. So with that being said, whenever this news is announced, whether it's this Saturday or National Signing Day, y'all need to be prepared. And what I mean by that is, there are going to be a lot of blowback, like more, probably more than you got for Travis Hunter, right? There are going to be a lot of people in the state of Texas who are upset, right? There's going to be blatant racism and there's going to be hidden racism in between the tweets and statuses and everything like that. Um, so get ready for it. It's all I'm saying. And you know, just know at the end of the day, they mad. Don't let it get to you, right? Like, y'all don't have to engage in back and forth. I, I get it. Some of them deserve it, right? But don't don't even, you know, get caught up in that because they're going to be upset. Y'all know this is going to happen. Uh, I'm telling you right now, it's going to happen. This ain't Florida, right, that you stole, like, that you took away from uh Florida State. This ain't Travis Hunter in Florida. Now, this is Texas. Y'all Y'all know what the racism is like in Texas. So, listen. Just be ready for it. All right. I can't I cannot wait to hear that. But I also can't wait to hear Hugh Jackson's announcement. His his announcement is still on my mind. My boy Jeff Lightsey is the one who broke that news. Shout out to him again. Y'all, he's the most un underrated uh YouTuber on YouTube. Like seriously, please subscribe please subscribe to his channel. I'm telling you, you're gonna love his takes. Uh but with that being said, man, you're watching the CFL podcast. I go by the name of Kobe and I'm out. Peace.